Hello guys, welcome to episode 5 and today we're going to be adding in a light source and hopefully get it all working. Uh, let's create a new class and we'll call that light source. And let's just grab this here. And this is going to be a really simple class as well. And all it's going to need is a public oh, public float x, y. There we go. And a public int light travel and this is going to be how far the light travels then we're going to do public light now yeah, we'll draw we'll draw it out this time write it out this time we didn't last ah, actually no we're not all about speed structure let's make a constructor for all these what i'm going to do in here though is i'm going to be able to times that by 64 because 64 is how big our tiles are, we're going to send in how many blocks it can travel. So if I send in 10, it will times it by 640. So that'd be 640 pixels instead of just 10 pixels. Okay, that's what we need to do for light source. So that's another easy class. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. And right, let's make a few simple helper functions down here and we're gonna call those what should we call it um i'm not gonna call it anything actually i'm just gonna copy it in from here just copy that down or get it from my github or put in the description and the final one is this one here copy that in and this is the map function so it's just a map function a distant function distance will get a dis distance between the two values you send in and the map will map a value between so if I send 10 in and I wanted to map it between 0 and 1, it would put it at 0 0.1. Okay? Very helpful when doing this. So let's just minimize these because these we don't need to worry about these now. They're there. We can just use them. Okay. What do we need to do now? We need to add another array list to hold private array list. And let's call that light source and then these can be uh, lights so this is where we're going to store all the light sources in the world and we need to initialize that so we'll just do that here there we go so now we can use it so in the update function we're going to what are we going to do Yeah, we're going to iterate through each light tile in the light tile light. Sorry, I keep getting it around the wrong way. We're going to set the, oh, the lux to the maximum it can be. Okay, so that's one, so that'd be black. Actually, we'll set it to 0 0.9 because that was the value we gave up in the top of the initialize lux value so now we're going to loop through each light source of the lights and if there is a light source we're going to float we're going to get the distance between the light and the tile Ooh. that's going to be equal to distance and we're going to put in the light dot x the light dot y and then we need to send in the tile dot x and then to center it so we get there also oh, i know the light tile and the light tile dot y there we go so that's going to get us a value between the light source and the light tile that we're kind of iterating through at that moment but that's not going to work properly because we want to iterate to the center of the tile so all we need to do is plus light tile dot size and divide that by two that will give us the center and we need the center of the wire coordinate as well so the y-axis sorry divided by two so that's fine so now let's work out if the distance is less than light dot light travel so this is working out if it's in the distance that the light can emit light 
then we want to do t dot lux oh, I keep doing that lt dot lux minus equals map and we want to map the distance between zero and l dot light travel because that's the maximum so we want to well, what we're trying to do here is map the distance or how far away the light from the source is. Let's get this up and paint. So if we have... How do we want to do this? So the light is here, the light source, and we're doing the tile there. So that distance is, I don't know, 50. And this can actually emit for 100, so it would be emitting up here. We want to work out how far away it is from the middle, and we want to create the lux based on that. So this will have 50% opacity compared to 0% opacity there, and well, I mean, sorry, 0 here and 100 there. So it'll be black here and light here. So we want to be halfway in between. That's what that map's going to be doing for us. And we want to map it between 1f and 0f. That's working, and then we want to do t dot amounts, oh, lt dot amounts dot add. This is adding the new light data to save it for later on when we want to use it. And we want to pass in the distance. We want to pass in. Actually, all we need to do is copy. that call there, place that into here, oh I've made a real mess of this, <laughs> float uh, temp equals that, alright this is going to make it a bit more readable, I should make temp there, and then in here we can put temp can do distance and we can also do l dot travel light okay there we go and then after all that we want to do where do we want to do that we want to do that a little bit down here so lt dot update and all update does remember is I don't mean that here we go it just sets the alpha to the lux that we've just set it at here Let's give this a go. Uh, it's not going to do anything, is it? We haven't actually got any lights in the world. <laughs> um, lights dot add new light source. And where should we put it? We'll put it right at the top left. So we'll just put two, two. And we'll say it can travel 10 blocks. And let's play that. There we go. As you see, the closer you are to the center, the lighter it is and the further away you get the darker it gets and it kind of smooths into the uh, lighting background. Let's mess around with this and put it more in the center. I don't know, 10, 5. Should be a bit further to the right. Hmm. That's not right, is it? Um, I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not sending into light source. I need to times this by 64 and this by 64 because I was trying to send in the block information and not pixel information. Now this converts it to pixels. There we go. It's in the center of the screen now. Thanks for watching. Next episode we'll add multiple lights with clicking of the mouse. See you later.